Welcome, students, to this week's spelling netcast for sort 44 using contractions. Let's make sure you are prepared with your handy dandy glue stick, a sharpened pencil, your scissors, your spelling bag for your spelling words, your spelling journal, this should have come home with you, and your spelling words. If you forgot your words, pause the video and copy this sheet to make your own word spelling word boxes. All right, what you need to do first, as usual, is cut out your words. Cut all the way around. Make sure you do not throw your title away. You need to have your title on your page that you do your assignment. But we don't need this whole thing this week because it's short, so we can just cut off that part and cut off this part. All right, now we need to cut our exemplars off, and this week we have four exemplars. So make sure that you have those. Next, as you know, just cut them into columns. Get stuck on my fingers. All right. And then just cut those. So you only have to make one cut for the three columns. Whoa. That's a funky cut. Oh my. All right, I'll do it that way. Because <laughs> I did not cut that very good. All right. Need your notebook. Turn to your first clean page. It's a apply glue to your title so we know what we're doing. Sort 44, contractions, put that in the middle. All right. Now we need to write down our exemplars. Like I said, we have four exemplars this week. We have, go down about two lines, not, is, have, and the last one, will. Let's underline those. All right. Cut my exemplars. I'm in my spelling bag for later. All right, now, what we are doing this week is contractions. Okay, there's gonna be 23 contractions in groups. The not group, the is group, the have group, and the will group. Okay, the objective for you is to learn that the apostrophe marks right here mark the spot where letters were removed. Contractions are like compound words with one or more letters removed. Okay, so if I were to cover up, it's kind of hard to do, if I were to cover up the O, that is where the, an apostrophe would be put. Okay, it's to mark the place where you removed the letter. So let's try that. Let's look at couldn't. Okay, the O was removed and an apostrophe put in place to mark the spot that we took that out. So instead of saying could not, now we can say couldn't. So let's go ahead and do that. Couldn't, C-O-U-L-D-N apostrophe T. C-O-U-L-D-N, it's where I'm not gonna put my O, I'm gonna put my marker, which is an apostrophe T. Now it's a contraction instead of the two words, could, not, okay? Now, let's do same thing with is. 
you would remove the I and put an apostrophe there. So let's try this word. Whose, W-H-O, the I is removed and we put an apostrophe. Instead of who is, it's whose. So W-H-O apostrophe S. W-H-O apostrophe S. All right. Now, the word have and will are a bit more complicated because the first two letters are removed instead of just the vowel, like this vowel was moved, removed, and put an apostrophe. The I, the vowel, was removed and put an apostrophe. But now we're going to take the first two letters and remove those. But you can use the same procedure. Okay, so we're going to try. We will w remove the H and A and just have the VE. So let's try this word. Would have. Would have. So W O U L D. We take out the first two letters, H and A, and put an apostrophe in place of the H and A, and then have V-E. W-O-U-L-D, apostrophe, V-E, would have, instead of would have. W-O-U-L-D, apostrophe, V-E. Okay. So let's do this one. Veil. So we took out... W-I, put an apostrophe in its place, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe L-L. Instead of they will, it's they'll, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe L-L, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe L-L. Okay, so it's important that you understand that there's a predictable pattern in the way that the words are spelled. Okay, so let's if we if we said a sentence with couldn't, we could use I could not understand the directions. If you made it a contraction, it would be I couldn't understand the directions. So let's do a couple more. Let me find one with an apostrophe T. Oh, there's one. Well, it's a long one. Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay, if we would have had an O there, it would have been does not. So we take the O out, the vowel out, and put an apostrophe. D-O-E-S-N apostrophe T. Doesn't. D-O-E-S-N. And instead of an O, I put an apostrophe T. Doesn't. All right, let's do, here's one, should've, should've, S-H-O-U-L-D, apostrophe, V-E. Take out the first two letters of the word have and put an apostrophe. S-H-O-U-L-D, apostrophe instead of H-A-V-E, should've, S-H-O-U-L-D, apostrophe, V-E. E. All right. Here's. Here's. Again, we take out the vowel, the I, and put an apostrophe. H E R E apostrophe S. H E R E apostrophe S. Okay, one more. Let's do a short one. Heel. Heel. H E, take out the first two letters, W I, and put an apostrophe instead. So instead of he will, he'll. H E apostrophe L L. H E apostrophe L L. Okay, so there's a start to your sort. And remember, the better we become at spelling, the better readers and writers we will be. Please make sure that you finish your sort, because there's your start of it, okay? Because we have the not group, is group, have group, will group, okay? And remember, we just take out the vowel, take out the vowel, take out the first two letters, take out the first two letters, and combine them, 
All right, so remember to read the word out loud, spell the word, and then write it under the correct exemplar. Good luck, get it done, and we will see you at school.